The following report contains some disturbing images. Earthquakes of this high 7.9 magnitude are rare. This is the worst to hit this Himalayan nation in over 80 years. The injured were brought to hospitals in trucks and on rickshaws. The hospitals are so inundated though, they're running out of space. So far, more than 100 fatalities have been reported, but observers on the ground say that figure is likely to rise significantly. It was April 2015 when the ground shook and Nepal experienced one of their most devastating earthquakes. Over 9,000 people died. Yes, GR3 came in rapidly in helping with medical teams, psychological first aid teams to help the people in a holistic way, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. My name is David Cantor, the founder and CEO of GR3 Inc, Global Rescue Relief and Resilience. Now, that's kind of a new name, but uh, we have found that that name kind of encapsulates everything that we do from responding initially, medically, emotionally, spiritually, to also long-term recovery. That's what we've been doing in Nepal. You can see some of the destruction that still exists around in recovery as well. And so, as many of you know, as we recap the Nepal deployment, yes, we came in with medical teams initially, signed up with the World Health Organization, signed up with the government saying, we're here to support you, not coming in as independent to work on our own. But we find in every country around the world and over 100 deployments globally, with over 300,000 volunteers, that unity, collaboration with others is very, very important and that helps create the environment for long-term recovery. So we brought in many doctors, nurses, and others into the Nepal deployment. A lot of the key of GR3 is to network with hospitals. Almost every deployment we've been on is networking with many different kind of hospitals, like Shear Hospital, like the hospital up at Mount Everest. The key is to go in to support them, not take over, but say, how can we help you? What are your biggest needs? So we try to match that with bringing in medical supplies and physicians and nurses. That's what Nepal Response was all about. And so you can see a lot of the footage of, of our volunteers busy at work, helping out, even as you can see the recovery here, which goes on for even years afterwards, helping people out physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Now, as many of you know, our strength is actually psychological, physical, emotional, spiritual healing, a holistic approach. Recovery takes years, but we're there to help them in that recovery process, helping one another, training one another to be resilient. Even though we help provide food and clothes and other things in over 100 responses around the world, Recovery is a wonderful time and it's a phase. What we've been focusing on in Nepal, most importantly, is psychological first aid, where Dr. Mole from the Shear Hospital invited a team to come in and certify and train through Dr. Rebecca Tomley, one of our great psychologists. Uh, these individuals at the Shear Hospital, over 70 of them in emotional and spiritual care. We like to help people in a long-term way so that when you transition, they can help train. She trained many pastors and others, so it could be force multipliers in helping the devastated countries. We thank you so much for being um, continual supporters of all that we do globally, bringing in millions of dollars of supplies and recovery. Nepal is not finished yet. Dr. Mole wrote us a tremendous letter of support and thanks for our support throughout the deployment. And here's what he said. Of all the organizations that came in to respond to Nepal, if I were to do it over, GR3 would be the group that I would be glad to invite once again. So we encourage you 
If you want to read more information, see pictures, movies, you can go on to GR3 Inc. Facebook, website, and be able to find how God continues to use willing volunteers to be force multipliers. Thank you.